Hello internet, so today um, we're going to be trying to fix the issue uh, with the Razer Naga 2014. Um, now what happens is when you scroll up and down, you'll see the, um, the page will just sort of skip up and down, up and down, uh, so it sort of jumps all over the place. Now what we need to do first is take these pads off the bottom to reveal the screw, so there's this one large pad here and the two at the top. Now I recommend at this moment I would buy some eBay replacements for, for when we when we come to putting it back together. Okay so let's go ahead and undo these four screws. Now I actually got this off eBay for £10 this mouse and it's practically brand new. The only issue is with the scroll wheel. Okay, so now we can lift this top panel up. Like so, and just sort of lift that away. There is the LED cable plugged in, so you need to pull that out. Okay, now if you wanted to, you could leave the mouse at this stage and not take off the rest of the panels. You can actually get to the part we need um, through this point. So, what we need to do is unscrew this little screw here. Now, because there's a click, you might have to just put some pressure on it. It'll push it down. Once you've undone that, we can just pull that bit out of the way. And that gives us access to the scroll wheel. So it just clips in, so we can pull it up and that unclips it from the plastic unit. And now we need to unplug the encoder, which is this wire here. So let's pull that out. Okay, so we've removed the scroll wheel and we have the wheel there with the encoder on the side. Now I have actually fixed this already, but the problem I've got is this box here, which is the encoder. Now inside here there's a little coil, which I can actually open up and show you. With a little piece of metal, try and move the camera in. Okay, so inside this box, there's a sort of, it's hard to explain, there's a little D-shaped spring that presses against a, um, so I've already glued this back together, so you can open this up, and you see this little metal D-shaped piece of metal here, this acts as a spring, and it pushes this green thing here downwards and the little copper wires on that circle will push against the sort of contacts inside the box. Now how these fail is this uh, the how these fail sorry is the the copper wires will start to um, wear away over time so the spring becomes less effective, this little spring here becomes less effective and therefore um, it won't make contact anymore and then you'll get the random sort of jumping up and down. So rather than fix this, what you can do is sort of bend this spring a little bit back and you can put that back in so it applies more pressure so the green circle. Now this fixed my problem, but then I felt that the scroll wheel was too loose, like it ran too freely. So I've gone on eBay, here, and I've purchased two new encoders from China for one pound. And unfortunately I have to wait for them to arrive. And while I was there, 
Um, what else did I buy? Oh yeah, I bought the, the feet as well. So skip forward a few months and we'll have all this ready to put back together. Okay, I'm back. So it's been a few weeks and I've got the new feet. Um, these came from China and I've also got the new encoders. So there's two in the packet. Go ahead and get these out. Okay, so <clears throat> what I want to do is see how the new ones feel when they're inside the encoder. So, oh, yeah, that's much better. Much better already. So last time it was very loose, it just scrolled straight through. Whereas now it has the notches again as it rolls. It's like click, 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 click. Okay, so the wheel slots back into place like so. Make sure the encoder is slotted in the box correctly and then just push it down. Small click to show that it's slotted in. Then we can plug the pins back into the main board. So plug the encoder back into the motherboard. Next we need to screw this piece back under the wheel. Put your finger underneath the wheel before screwing the screw in, otherwise it just pushes down. Next we can take the top panel and we need to plug back in the LED cable. Plugs in like so. And the top piece can just be lowered back over and that just snaps into place. Screw in the four screws around the side. So that's the feet screwed back in. The next thing to do before putting the feet back on is to plug it in and make sure it actually works. come over to the computer and straight away I can see that it's being detected. The lights are lighting up. We still have the strange issue when scrolling. And we don't. I paid £10 for this mouse on eBay and then £2 for the encoders and £5 for the feet. I don't know how many packs come in this, I think it's just the one. A pair of uh, mouse feet, so that's good if you ever need to take it apart again. Smells like an alcoholic wipe. Just going to try and get any of the glue that's still on there off. I did try and get most of this off previously when I first took the feet off. Give it a good clean we don't want the feet to stick up higher than they should do. Cleaning cloth. Wipe off any excess. So, let's open up the feet themselves. Or mouse skates, depends on what you want to call them. I hate putting these things on. These are peel off the protective layer. I 
I've used this brand of uh, mouse skates before from Mouse Skates Hotline Games. There we are. Right, I'm going to go ahead and try this quickly. Already this feels a million times better, especially with the scroll wheel now fixed. This is my Naga 2012, if you want to compare the size. This one's a little bit smaller, plus with the buttons on the side are flat, like membrane buttons. Whereas these ones have a lot more sort of mechanical feeling click buttons. Plus you've got the two middle hotkey things. Yeah, and then we got the Razer Def Adder 2013 and the Razer Black Widow Tournament Edition, I think, Chroma, and then finally the Razer Siren Microphone.